going on everybody? So I just want to make a really quick announcement. Um, since I've made over the past month some really really crazy strength gains, in, you know, not not necessarily that I'm extremely strong or anything like that. I still don't consider myself to be strong. Um, and I also think that, you know, the word strong is very relative. As you see from my video yesterday, I hit 385 for a set of eight on the deadlift. And I would think that that's gonna put me pretty close to 500 um, for a one rep max right now. And same with squat, I hit 325 for eight. And bench, I mean, bench is just going up steadily. So given how close I already am to my goals that I really only, you know, I really wanted to achieve them by the end of spring semester. Um, this means that I have a lot of time between now and then and So I decided that it would be better off for me to start cutting to about Sub 10% body fat for the next one to two months, and that's it So basically I'm gonna be doing a drastic mini cut and it's gonna last four to eight weeks eight weeks at the very maximum and Basically, I'm going to I'll be doing for the first three to four weeks I'm gonna be doing cardio two to three times a week and basically, um, you know, the weight loss for me is going to come mainly from diet and manipulating my hormone levels. So one thing I'm going to want to do is manipulate my leptin levels and my ghrelin levels and trying to make sure that I can keep leptin high and ghrelin low. And this is going to be really tough because with a drastic mini cut, you have a very big deficit. For example, I've been eating 45 to 5,000 calories a day for the past almost month and I've gotten up to 205 for body weight. So I've been eating pretty much a ridiculous amount of food. Um, still clean food, but quite a bit of sugar mixed in, um, at least, you know, post-workout and a little bit pre-workout, but, and that's okay. However, um, now I'm gonna be cutting back to about 2,200 calories. So pretty much like a 50% decrease in my calories. And it's gonna be a big struggle initially, but that's just kind of the, the nature of the beast with drastic mini cutting is that ghrelin is gonna be very high my body's so used to having, you know, four to 5,000 calories a day, so to suddenly drop off, my hunger is gonna be really, really high. So there are gonna be a few things that I'm gonna do to make sure that I am staying full and, you know, not craving all this sugar and fatty food and stuff like that. I mean, the biggest ways that I'll be doing that is keeping my protein intake really high, probably 1.2 grams per pound of body weight, and that'll obviously change as I start to lose weight. I think every time I try to talk, there's some sort of doorbell or church bells or... Okay, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, basically, ghrelin is the hunger hormone, um, just for any of you that don't know. Basically, as you start to decrease your caloric intake, you know, it's like this primal instinct that your body has. It drives up ghrelin levels and it increases your hunger. And leptin is kind of the opposite where um, when you're eating a crap ton of food leptin is really high and it's really good for fat oxidation however as you start to diet down the more you diet the more your leptin levels drop off and that makes fat loss even more difficult so you need to do a lot to keep your leptin levels high while you're cutting and that's going to come through the form of refeeds and basically I'm gonna start by doing a refeed once every seven days, but as I get lower and lower in body fat percentage, I'm gonna to have to drop down to say three or four days, you know, like once every three or four days. Like I said, your body wants to be in homeostasis. It doesn't like being in a caloric deficit. So a lot of things start to happen as you lower your calories. Your thyroid hormone levels drop off, insulin sensitivity increases, a couple other things. Another reason that I wanted to do this cut um, pretty quickly is because my insulin sensitivity is slowly decreasing now that I'm eating so many carbs I'm probably up to four or five hundred carbs a day um, and like I said I'm not tracking but I am intuitive eating and I just know my um, I know my diet well enough to know you know where I'm falling as far as my carb range but um, yeah so my insulin sensitivity is definitely decreasing and one of the things that happens as you cut is your insulin sensitivity goes back up and basically for any of you that don't know you want your insulin sensitivity to be high while you're bulking and low while you're cutting but basically your body does the exact opposite that as you're bulking your insulin sensitivity goes down even though you want it up and then as you're cutting your insulin sensitivity goes up even though you want it down so yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what to expect I'm going to be giving um, frequent updates, you know, about my physique. I'm going to try to not um, reveal anything in, from the start until the finish. So I really don't want anyone seeing my progress until I'm completely done with the cut. You may or may not see me just wearing, 
you know, maybe not necessarily baggy t-shirts, but I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of like bro tanks or, um, or like cutoffs or anything while I work out. And mainly just like hoodies and baggy shirts, that sort of thing, just to kind of build the suspense a little more. But anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you have a great day.